Hey guys, it's Teresa. Um, today I have another grocery haul for you guys. Well, this isn't really a grocery haul because I'm actually not buying groceries this week because Stephen has a business trip this week and I'm not going to be home this entire week as well. So I didn't want to go ahead and buy groceries. However, we do have family coming in for the next couple of nights. So I did want to get a few things to kind of tide us over because um, my nephews will be here and one of my nephews is kind of a picky eater so I wanted to make sure I had food in the house for him. Now I also wanted to share these few things with you guys because to me this is a prime example about how you can kind of buy things and not really see where your money went because this haul that this haul right here that I'm about to share with you guys today I spent a little over $25 I think combined and for $25 usually I get a lot of stuff and as you guys know our grocery budget is $50 for every two weeks so as you can see behind me there is not a lot on the counter there I don't have any bread I don't have any um, milk I don't have any eggs I have no meat I have no fruit, I have no veggies, and this is $25. To me, when I grocery shop, I'm very conscious of the things I pick up. I'm very conscious of the prices of things, and I wanna make sure that I'm getting the most for everything that I'm purchasing. So without any further ado, I want to just go ahead and show you guys the few things that I did get. All right, here are the few things that I picked up from the store a few minutes ago. The first thing is this macaroni and cheese. Got this for my nephew because he really likes macaroni and cheese and I know that he will eat this. So I got two things of those. I got some syrup, picked up some mild cheddar cheese. I also got a thing of butter biscuits for breakfast in the mornings. I got some smoked sausages. These will also be for breakfasts. And I got some cup of noodles. These are actually for me. I'm gonna take these along with me while I'm out of town. So I got two packs of those. And um, I probably will eat a few of these in the next couple of days while I'm home. Yeah, these probably won't make it. I got some Mott's. These are also for my nephew. These are apple juice and this is his favorite kind. So I got him some of these. I got Steven some potato chips just so he can snack on while he's watching the football game. I got some buttermilk waffles. Again, these are for my nephews because they really like waffles. And if all else fails for breakfast, I know that I can just put some of these in the toaster and they won't have a problem eating the waffles. I got two packs of strawberries and these are to make my um, fruit infused waters. This is also to make the fruit infused water. And so I got these to carry us through the next couple of days. And I kind of got suckered into this one because it's pumpkin spice waffles and it's the season for all things pumpkin. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then I got these honey bunches of oats and I just got these because I thought they might want some Cheerios or something like that. So here is everything that I picked up. I got a couple of these things from the Dollar Tree and I got the other few items from my local grocery store and I'm going to show you guys the receipts just so you know how much I spent. Here are the receipts at the Dollar Tree. I ended up spending $11.94 and at my grocery store I spent $13.41 so I spent about yeah about $24 for everything $24-$25. So uh, yeah, that's my very, very small grocery haul. I'm not even sure if this in, could be considered a grocery haul because I literally don't have any groceries. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out some other grocery hauls if you would like to see how I make our budget stretch with $50. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.